In this instructional video, we're going to go over the different types of read files that Patrick allows you to use when you submit them to the assembly service job. To find the assembly service landing page, you click on services and then assembly. Patrick accepts three types of files, paired reads, single reads, and accession numbers from the sequence read archive. Let's talk a little bit about paired reads. If you've recently uploaded data into Patrick, you could click on this down arrow here and it would show you the most recently loaded data that you put in. So that would be pretty easy to find that file that way. However, if you loaded the reads a long time ago, you may remember what you called them and you can start typing the name, what you recall, and the autofill function in Patrick will try to find files with text that matches what you typed and you can find it that way. Another way is to go directly to the workspace and find data that you loaded previously. So we're actually going to use this because I've uploaded some data for you. So this is my workspace, but click on this down arrow here and then click on public workspaces. And this will reload this data to show all the public workspaces that you have access to. Because I'm logged in, you're seeing the ones that I have access to, so they won't be the same as yours but we each should have this workspace, which is called Patrick Workshop. Click on this little globe icon here, and that shows all the folders within Patrick Workspaces. Click on the folder icon for assembly, and that shows all the data that's there. Now for today's example, we're going to use this data that came from the Sequence Read Archive this 3584989 underscore data folder. So click on that. And we can only click on one at a time. Let's click on the first read and then click OK. Now we need to get the mate to it. So we click on the folder icon, workspaces, Click on Public Workspace. Scroll down until you see Patrick Workshop. Click on the globe. Click on the Assembly folder. Click on the SRR3584989 underscore data folder. And click on the second pair of that uh, paired in. Okay. So we have our paired uh, end reads here. It's a good uh, time to look and make sure that they match, that you've got the numbers lined up correctly. You notice that there's an advanced button here at the bottom of the box. Clicking on that shows us three different boxes, one for interleaved, one for mate paired, and one for platformed. So what is interleaved? Interleaved files occur when the R1 and R2 reads are combined in one file, so that for each read pair, the R1 read in the file comes immediately before the R2 read, followed by the R1 read for the next pair, and so on. This actually doesn't happen very often. That's why the default is set for false. But if you did do this, if you do have that, you can click on this down arrow and click for true. Mate paired is something that also doesn't happen very often. Uh, it's a specific type of library that allows you to have your um, pairs much farther apart. So this can be more informative than the standard paired in protocol and they're tend generally bigger, but like I said, it's very rare. So if you do have this mate paired library preparation, you would click here and do true. The last is inferred platform. You notice that the default 
says infer platform, but if I click the down arrow here, you can select Illumina or Iron Torrent. Those are the only two sequencing platforms we know of right now that um, have paired in reads. So I'm just going to leave it at inferred platform. So this is the information I want tagged to my reads, and I need to remove these reads into my selected library box. So to do that, I click on this little arrow in the upper right corner of the, made, of the paired read library box. And it moves it there. And I can look by mousing over the eye or the information icon that it says there's a paired library. It's instructing Pat, Patrick to infer the platform. And it's showing the two different reads and where they came from. Single read library. Now, you can combine paired and single read together. You could combine a number of paired read libraries. Imagine often with um, uh, sequencers, often the technician will load the same sample, repeats of the same sample in a number of um, lanes in case one fails. So you can have multiple backups. So you could combine all of those to get greater coverage of your data. But another thing you can do if you have PacBio and Illumina, people often do this to get a better assembly which deeper, with deeper coverage. You can combine those by having your Illumina reads come in through the paired read and your PacBio reads come in through the single read. You do the same thing to load that by clicking on the file and then uploading it through the workspace. And if you had a file there and you click on advance, and let's look at platform, you notice that you could have single read Illumina, single read Iron Torrent, or the long read PacBio or Nanopore that you could add. Patrick also allows you to submit data from the sequence read archive. Let's say you know an accession number, you have one in your mind that you found that you want to assemble the data for. Often, because it's sometimes a problem um, to submit data to GenBank, if you have an assembly or an annotation, a lot of people are putting the data directly into the sequence read archive. And so the only way you can get access to that data to compare it to your own is by assembling it and annotating it independently. So you can use this function to be able to uh, load that data into and assemble it. So you could either write in the number or you could um, cut and paste it from the sequence read archive. So I have, let's say I have a run accession number. When I click this arrow to add it to my selected libraries box, you notice that it, there was a brief message that said it was validating it to prove that it was a good accession number. So if I were to submit this job now, it would be combining these two things. Anything that's in the selected library box will be combined together. But oh no, I made a terrible mistake. These things don't belong together. You can remove it very easily by clicking on this button here. In the next video, we'll talk about the parameters box and submitting the assembly job.